We're going to spend a few minutes talking about how to divide a fraction with a whole number using a number line. I want to thank you again for joining me. It's so wonderful to have you here. I want to let you know, first of all, that this is going to be quite a mental workout for you, which is a good thing. I want you to struggle a little bit through these and to help alleviate a little bit of that struggle um, and make things a little bit smoother in transition, I want to cover two key points that are worth noting. The first being that whenever you divide, whenever you divide, okay, you have two numbers. The first number always represents how much you start with. So if I had $8 divided by 4, that first number represents how much I have altogether. This is my starting point. This is what I have to use in my division. I can't have any more and any less. I have to start with $8. It's my start. That's worth noting. The second thing worth noting is whenever you divide and you get an answer, in this case, it's going to be $2. That $2 represents how much one portion gets, how much one person gets. So if you had $8 divided by four people, this is four people, this $2 is how much one portion gets, how much one person, how much one of the parts gets. That's very, very important when you do these kind of questions. You have to understand that point. So if you're comfortable with these two things, let's get started with a few examples. I want to also let you know that there's not going to be any special effects in this lesson. No bangs and booms and pops and animations. It's going to be business as usual here. We're going to be writing things down and getting really good at mastering this. So I want to start with something simple. I want to start with, well, relatively simple. Say we have three-fourths and we divide it by three. What you do here is you have to understand that we have to start with three-fourths. So let's make a number line and let's put zero and one. Now three-fourths means we got to split this thing into four parts. So the best way to do it is chop it in half. Make sure it's pretty close to half and then chop each of these halves in half. And now you've got four equal parts. Now we have to start with three-fourths, not four-fourths. So we're going to make a cutoff here at three-fourths. So we can go bouncing here. We can start at zero, go bounce one-fourth, two-fourth, three-fourths, and then mark it off. Don't forget to mark this off. And then I want you to put a little squiggly bracket. And I want you to say that we have to divide this section, this whole space, we have to divide into three parts. Look at the space. Do you not see that it's already split into three parts? Okay. Now the key in division is the answer represents how much one of those portions is worth. So you've divided into three parts, but how much is one of those parts worth? That's what division means. It always means that. It always did in grade three when you did it and in grade eight or nine whenever you do it, it always means the same thing. So let's take one of those parts and, oh, look at that. That one part here is worth one out of, one out of what? It's one part, but it's one out of three? No. You know why? Because in fractions, you always make your denominator whatever the whole is. And the whole is four. So this is one out of four. So if you take these three-fourths and divide into three parts, you get one-fourth. And it makes total sense. Because three-fourths, think money, three-quarters is 75 cents. Let's do it this way. Let's write 75 cents like this. And if you take 75 cents and divide it into three parts, you get 25 cents per person, which is a quarter. That's what one-fourth is. It's not hard, is it? Well, that was the easiest one. So let's expand on this idea. I'm only going to change this number. Instead of divided by divided by three, I'm going to make it divided by two now. And you do the same thing too. Make sure you're writing this down. Make sure you're making these beautiful number lines in your books. And so we're going to put a zero and a put a one. And we have to make three-fourths again. So we will chop this like that. Chop this in half. Chop that in half. Find three-fourths. We locate him over here. And that's going to be my three-fourths. Now, make our squiggly bracket. And say we have to split the space into two equal parts. It has to be two because I'm dividing by two. What you do here is you have to find the middle, that means. You have to chop it in half. And so when we chop it in half, we get a chop like right there. But in fractions, all of the pieces have to be split equally. And they're, you know, they're not split equally. You have a little baby section here. And then you get a huge section there. So you know what we'll do? 
we kind of chopped this space here in half, didn't we? We took this here and took that there and we cut it in the middle. Well, let's cut all the spaces in the middle. Let's cut that in the middle and cut that space in the middle and even cut this part here outside in the middle because it has to be equally broken up. And now that you look at it, when you look at this squiggly bracket, it's covering one. Count with me here starting at zero. Count even out loud if you want. Make it a song, make it some music. Go one, two, three, four, five, six sections and split in two parts makes three sections per part. So we're going to take all of this here and say that's a part. And we're going to take this half here. We got three sections and take that also and make it a second part. And are they equal? The answer is yes, they are equal. Now what do we do? We take one of those portions and one portion is worth, let's count, let's go one, two, Three, we got three out of six. No, not six. I hope you didn't say six. You have to go back to the hole, which is three, six, seven, eight pieces. And the answer, my friends, is three eighths. This here, this half, is worth three out of eight of my entire thing. I hope you're getting this, because if you are, we're ready to move on to the next part, which is going to get a little bit more challenging. Some of you are like, oh, my brain hurts already. I want to stop this already. You know what? You can stop, take a break, and come back. Let's divide this now by five. Here's what we do. We start again, three-fourths. Now, I hope you understand that if it's not three-fourths, just make the other fraction. Make whatever fraction it says. But I'm going to put a zero and a one. I'm going to do this as my last example. We've got zero and one. We're going to make fourths. So let's go boom, boom, boom. And then we locate the three-fourths, which is right here. And we have to take all of this space and chop it into, call it out, Five pieces. Now, how do we take three pieces and chop them into five? It's like hard to do. How do you take three pieces and chop them into five equal pieces? You know what? When you get stuck at these and you don't know how to break them up, break every section in front of you into five pieces. It will work out. Watch. Take this chunk and break it into five. Count them. There's five parts in there. Break this up. And break that up. But you know how fractions work. You can't break these up. If you don't break these up, you have to break all of them up. Now, everything is broken into five pieces. All we care about is where the squiggly is. We care about this three-fourths section. So now, how do you break all of these pieces into five equal parts? Well, we count them. We have five, ten, fifteen. It's easy to break fifteen segments into five pieces. You just put three in each section. So you're going to go here, zero. We're going to go one, two, three. Three. They go together. Now start here. We're going to go one, two, three. Now go again. One, two, three. Good. Start here. Go again. One, two, three. Make sure you're making those uh, nice uh, brackets. One, two, three. And it goes to the end. It has to go to the end. If, it, if you find like the, a remainder in this, that means you divided it wrong. It should go perfectly right to that line here. Do you count five sections? One, two, three, four, five. I count five. I hope you count five. I'm sure you do. Now, in division, we care about what one section is worth. And one section is going to be one squiggly bracket. How much is that squiggly bracket worth? It's worth one, two, three. Three out of what? Three out of 15? No. You know why? Because in fractions, we go to the whole. We don't stop here. The denominator is everything that exists, which is going to be 20 pieces. Count with me. All of this is 15 pieces. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 